Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Speed here, and today we're going to be doing a live analysis of Duraccio's Alchemist, kind of just watching to see what he does well, what he does wrong, and everything in between. So yeah, without further ado, let's kind of hop into it. This is Gaming Gladiators versus Blacklist Rivalry, Kuala Lumpur Major, and uh, yeah, let's let's get into some dotes. So he's playing Alk. A couple things to note, he's against Doom, so he's got to be a little bit careful about that. All right, obviously there's the anti-heal. Uh, that you definitely have to be very, very afraid of. I do think that the Gaiman draft is pretty cool. It's sort of like a Midas Armor draft in a weird way, right? You have Midas Armor from Howl, Acid Spray, and Pango's E. Uh, and then, of course, the Corrosion that Pango will likely buy. But, okay, he's going to farm these back camps. Typically, what you do here is you stack with the Acid, and then you farm with the Acid. But, okay, he's actually just going to... Interesting way... I, I don't know if that's going to stack. Is that going to stack? Okay, it does stack. Unfortunately, he's going to get broken, which is actually really unfortunate. And you can place the acid to hit both the camps. So it's funny. I, I don't know if these Alks just haven't tried. Maybe you need the max acid to do it. I don't know exactly. It's weird. I know for a fact that you can hit both. It's like definitely possible. Maybe you need level seven acid to do it. But yeah, on both sides, you can drag the camps together. And you can certainly do it at least by hitting one of the camps and then placing the acid. Like if you bring the creeps to here and then acid both, then it will continue to re-aggro. And that's the most efficient way to do it. So some Sometimes I'm surprised to see the pros not do it because it's certainly efficient as he drops the acid to push in the wave here and yeah he's having a fantastic game. Of course th this does mean that the doom is going to free farm which is good for the side of blacklist you know free farm doom at the end of the day is uh, always somewhat of a scary hero but okay I'm going to go to this back camp here would love to stack this centaur very easy camp to stack because it's extremely fast and doesn't uh, have anything ranged so yep there we go once again I would have liked to see him place the acid when all the creeps were inside of it i know it's a small thing but it is a bit more efficient than placing it when the centaurs are slightly outside of it but whatever he'll clean up the camp it's fine and he's working his way towards the radiance here right so okay should pop his ulti close to right away just because i guess you don't have to be yeah there you go so he does know how to uh, hit bolt so perhaps it's just the level seven acid that would make a lot of sense and he has shovel as his neutral item i don't know if he got nothing else that's better or he actually thinks Shovel's good. Maybe he was just praying for mangoes. I don't know. Typically on this hero, it's nice to get something like Arcane Ring if you're not buying a mana item because he has no Soul Ring, no Bassy. He hasn't even bought a singular Clarity. He's put all of his emphasis on getting this Radiance, but I have a feeling that he was hoping for Arcane Ring or a Cold Bracelet and just didn't get it. But okay, gonna take the top wave shoving in. Uh, I think with his team, the Ench and the Grim in the area, he's not too afraid of like some sort of Kunkka gank as he wants this cart here. Has to be a little afraid of getting doomed at this point, but he's fine. He'll dig up a mango. There you go. That's obviously what he primarily wants from the shovel at this point of the game. And he did end up buying one clarity. So when you're farming this camp, you don't want to, you do want to hit the creeps. Okay, I don't know why he's not hitting at all. <laughs> you can hit the creeps, you just don't want to kill them. So slightly inefficient there. Not the end of the world, but definitely a slight inefficiency as he's going to look to push in top. I mean, his team's fighting mid here. He's got the radiance coming. I mean, you still can't really play up, right? Because Doom plus Clock kills him. I mean, Clock's showing mid right now, so he's going to feel safe. But in, in most cases, you can't do that this game, right? Because Doom plus Clock definitely kills you. Doom plus Kunkka kills you. So this is not a game where he can just be like hyper chat, you know what I mean? Where he's just kind of doing whatever he wants. As he's got the Radiance, and that's going to make them want to make an attempt. Bonus movement speed. Stun will connect. They're going to try to chain stun. Is there a Diffusal on Pango? Looks like it's not going to matter. And there isn't, but it just doesn't matter. And that's a great kill. So wonderful setup from Duraccio using the bonus 12% movement speed from the concoction to kind of close the gap there. Oh, and you get bounty runes. I totally forgot. I guess shovel just makes so much sense on Hawk. I forgot, right? Because you get mangoes, which you want. The cobalt thing is some GPM, which isn't that good. The salve honestly is not terrible. I guess shovel just sort of makes sense, actually, because the hero when chem range is down actually needs a bit of HP regen sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. But I think it's mostly for the mangoes. And of course, the bounty runes. That makes a ton of sense on Alchemist. Of course, you want bounty runes. As he's connecting to the fight here, should channel concoction at this point, because you know you're going to be able to connect with at least the clockwork. He's looking for the pugna, greeting a bit, but doesn't find it. That's fine. Should be able to burn out this clock here. No problem. Nice. Warm up some cogs. Oh, sure. <laughs> he worked with the wolf to get the CS. Damn. That's some efficiency right there. So, not opting for a blink. I thought he would go blink second. I thought he would go blink second because I thought that, uh, you know, the Pango's not going to have an early blink and they, they want an ink spell user. But perhaps that's just going to be summon wolves, right? Because the wolves can kind of just go in invis with a, with a swell and that could be your initiation. But I don't know. I thought there was a chance. I think it's not a free game for him to initiate, especially because of the Doom and because of the fact that they have a ton of catch. Like, 
They have no shortage of catch. So it's not like he can weave in and out with Cam Rage this game. I, I don't think that's a reality. So I can see why he's going BKB. I think due to the fact that like, you know, Kunka stops you from getting out if you blink in. Clock can do the same thing. You know, even where to carry, which is, you know, their carry can do that. So he has to be careful as he should dig here. There we go. A barrier. Alrighty. You love to see it. You love to see it. That's okay. Should stack the small camp. I mean, these back camps are so good. Like on Elk, I hate seeing carry Elks farm Ancients too early, especially if like their offlaner wants to take Ancients. But he's having a superb game. He's going to have a pretty devastating timing. I'm curious to see how he'll use it. But okay. Once again, don't kill any creeps when you're broken. He's very good about that. Very, very good about that. Going to go for the top wave here. Watch this team fight. But no way we're going to connect to this. Right? There's, there's no way. So whatever. You're just going to continue to farm top as they win a fight. Okay. Another top wave. He should know that Doom has Doom. This is something that pro teams hit <laughs> three selves is crazy. This is something that, you know, okay, he sees the Doom backing up. That's a great word that they have there. This ward is really owning for him. It's been consistently showing if there's anyone coming to him or in the area. So, wow, he's going to look to connect here. I don't know how I feel about this because it's deep, right? There's smoke. They clearly want to take the tier one and they're playing for it, right? But this is deep. The enemy team is not showing anywhere as they're going to go for the X. Not going to find it. I'm surprised they want to fight so bad with no rolling thunder as clock walks in. They're just going to assassinate him. And here comes the shapeshift. I mean, okay, if they can hit a stun here, they're in a good spot. No, that stun would have guaranteed them a kill. As he's trying to turn on the Alk, but you're not solo killing Alk. As the end running in seems a bit psychotic. Okay, she's going to die. And this, I mean, I don't know. This doesn't seem very easy. They want to chase, though. I don't really think you're getting anything here. There's no way. This is definitely a back. Okay. And maybe they're going to get punished on the way out. I actually think this might be a giga feed. He's going to get X. He's dead. He's getting doomed here. Yeah, I mean, that was bad. I, I'm not sure where they chase. I mean, it's always easier from the outside to see why, like, why you shouldn't do something. But they lack catch, right? And that's that's why I thought he was going to go blink for situations like that. Like, I thought he would go blink for fights like that because they lack initiation. There's no way around it. Especially when this rolling thunder's on cooldown, they lack catch. You saw it there, right? The enemy kept running away. Uh, and, oh, he's x on Pango. He's not... Oh, uh, he's dead. Game and choking a little bit. Definitely overplaying their hand. Okay, it's an Octarine Doom. I didn't think he would go this build. I thought he would go crim like a Crimson route. Because this is a great game to go like Crimson and be able to frontline. Because he could certainly frontline with Crimson, right? I, I think he'd be pretty close to untouchable uh, with, with that item this game. It's really it's good against Alk, it's good against Lycan, it's fine against Pango. You know, Pango does quite a bit of physical. Especially when Rolling Thunder is over, but okay. Game is still fine. Could go either way. Absolutely. As they're going to look for this top tier one. So a lot of these pro teams, they love taking all the tier ones. It really makes the map hard to play. And I agree. I've kind of noticed this trend as well, guys. Where if you take all three of the tier ones, it makes it very scary to play the game. And they have taken, okay, at least they have the mid tier one. And it's going to let them make plays like this. As they bump into the Pango. He has no Rolling Thunder and he has no W. Oh, he's gone. He's certainly dead. And that's okay. All right. It's a good kill. They're going to have to respond to this bot push. Ench doing Ench things, just being annoying. Classic Ench, top net worth, just pushing in your side lanes. It's the like in the shapeshifted. I guess he thought maybe they could respond to that mid fight, but it but it was not a reality. But okay, let's go back to Duraccio here. Obviously, he's just kind of farming it up, right? Farming the back camps. And this is pretty standard for Alk once again. Like, I, I really think the main timing for Alk is Blink, because without Blink, it's just hard to get in, right? It's hard to get in in a convenient way. And I think this game is really important because... He can die if he gets hookshot doomed. I mean, you can always BKB now if you get doomed, so I guess he'll probably be fine even if he gets doomed. Probably can walk it off as, okay, uh, blink out. Let's see what he does on this timing. I mean, you have options. Like, I can I can see a reality where you farm these camps and then hit portal. You have to be a little bit scared, I guess. Okay, he's going to opt to farm these camps. I don't know specifically why, because I don't necessarily think these camps are safer. He'll get a bounty rune. Two bounty runes. Ooh. Eventually, he'll get two bounty runes. That's pretty high. It's a lot of gold. How much is this? Yeah, it's like 300 gold. That's so nice. All right, so blink up. Uh, the main play I thought he would do is use this ward with the portal. We'll see if he looks for it. I mean, it's such a good ward, right? I don't think he should feel safe top. I can't imagine he feels safe top with this map setup. Like even farming this seems risky. Uh, so I don't know exactly why he feels safe doing this, but yeah, maybe he just thinks the enemy team won't make the play. They just use the smoke mid. Maybe he just doesn't think they'll back-to-back -back smoke, which is definitely sometimes true. People people hesitate to do that, especially if they don't see anything. It's not like they've seen him. He hasn't shown in a while. 
And here comes the portal play. This is what I was talking about. He finds Tim. So there you go. Should find a kill. I can't imagine this guy lives. It's very easy to burn to crap on this hero. As yeah, there you go. That was great. So that's what I was talking about. Using the portal, kind of get it out of top, connecting with your team. Because obviously, if he was to get gone on there, that would be a much better location for his team to fight. And they're going to try to push him bot now. And the game has slowed down. I think this is a pretty favorable pace for Blacklist, actually. Because what you're looking to do at this point in the game, in my eyes, is let this Doom hit Exodia. I think you really want this guy. This like it's huge, by the way. Huge. I gotta look at his farming patterns. How is he so farmed? Maybe everyone else is just poor. Like, this Marta is not very farmed. I mean, this hero is not the best farmer, but still. Oh, something they have to this game that's actually really good, which I forgot about, is they have Wolf Bite on Elk, which is extremely good, because I think it gives him the HP, which is nice. Uh, against doom just like flat hp but most importantly it gives you that movement speed which is going to help him really kite this game right get away from like the crap and uh, more to w just help him kite as okay they want to take the fight oh they could catch Roger here he's gonna blink out so he's fine i don't think you want to fight with pango dead oh, i didn't even see the pango die but he'll farm backwards now and usually when you queue up here oh he's not in a great position there's definitely a reality where he gets caught he's gonna use the ag the ult to dispel might get his blink off here he should Oh, he didn't blink right away. He should have blinked right away. I hate when people do that, where they want to blink to like a hill or something. I think it's never worth as they're going to look to go back in, but there's no way you, you got to get out. Same thing here. He's really holding blink. I don't know. I mean, are they really considering going back in with cam rage ending? I think this is super fake. I feel like you're supposed to hit the portal and farm top. This is just strictly inefficient at this point. Once again, it's always easier to see things from the outside, but okay. Roshan makes a ton of sense. I mean, it's not free. The doom TP mid, but it's bots Octarine. So his TP is going to be up extremely shortly. And Okay, I mean, they're going to try. They have the minus armor strat, they have an inch, and they want to just at least bait them. I have a feeling they're not actually going to commit to this. I can't imagine you actually commit to the Roshir. I feel like you want to bait it and then click a smoke and try to catch. And I think that's what they're going to do. And they are, but I can't imagine Blacklist gets caught off guard because you you saw that they were heading out of the Rosh pit on the flare. It's not that fast. You should know it's not that fast. I feel like you should not get caught off guard. And Blacklist is going to smoke. Oh, they're going all the way around. There's going to be a weird engagement here. They want the edge to tank it for sure. I guess out getting gone on is not the end of the world. If he gets, I mean, unless he gets like chain stun, which he probably won't. But oh, they saw the couriers go up to the wolf. And this is awkward. I mean, at this point, you're hoping Lycan can scout for you. But, you know, game and smoke will run out first, right? Their smoke will run out first. So the question is, who's going to bump into who, right? That, that Okay. Oh, they have Blacklist has hill control around Roche. So you have a couple options on, on uh, game in. You could kind of call their bluff and just take the tier two, which I honestly think is a reality. I honestly think, I don't think they'll Roche. I don't think they'll Roche. I think what Gaiman could do is take this tier two and actually just go high ground with Lycan. Because, I, I mean, they can Roche. It's just super slow. I, they don't want to give it up, though. So they're going to look to fight, but Inkswell's wasted now. But you don't really want to go in on a wasted Inkswell. I mean, this is good, right? They're kind of going on the clock without committing it. Oh, clock's just dead. Frontlining with the clock does not seem like it's the play at the end of the day. As they find the Pugna too. Oh, they catch Morta on the side. She has no BKB. They doom up the Alk, which is generally what you want. He's running in. But they find the Doom and he's dead. Grim bites back. They're going to kill both the supports and there's no Shapeshift. There's no Chem Rage. There's probably no Rolling Thunder. I can't imagine. Wow. I mean, he, they're just getting owned by Lycanus. Sheesh. They didn't even need the Grim buyback. I can't believe that fight was so good. I mean, they caught the Muerta. And this is sometimes the problem with the Muerta carry. It does not buy BKB early, right? Like, I mean, it doesn't farm that fast in a lot of cases, and it doesn't buy BKB early. And now it looks like a bad hero, right? Because he's not going to have BKB for a long time. And they found, I mean, you have to kind of ask yourself the question, why was he there? I, how did they scout him? Was it a wolf? I guess you could say, like, that's just a good play from Gaiman that they found him. I mean, great target priority from Duracho to, like, recognize that Marta is probably the best kill, which she definitely is, right? She's going to do the most damage. She's the best target, her and Pugna, right? They kill the clock with Lycan, which is best case scenario. It's low committal. It's zero committal. And then you get to kill Muerta with your second go. I mean, that's like probably outside of killing Pugna and then Muerta. I think that's like best case for the fight, right? So, I mean, that was that was extremely good for them. You're feeling good now. He's going to go bash her. So just complete frontline build. I guess this, I don't, I don't know. I, he, he does have to initiate, right? Pango might have Blink eventually, but it's it's not for a bit, and like, the Abyssal just lets him go at first. Especially with the Ink Spell, I don't think he has to be too afraid of ever getting bursted. He'll always get his BKB off, right? He'll always get it off, as long as he's swelled. He'll always get BKB off, and I don't think you die this game. I mean, sometimes Marta does a shocking amount of damage even through BKB, right? Sometimes she does. But okay, heading up the high ground here. They're hitting, they have the AC, so this is the timing, right? This is the timing. 
As Duraccio, going to punch up some buildings. Pulled in a little bit here. Whatever, he's fine. Oh, he clicks BKB. So now you chill, right? Chem Rage ending, you clicked your BKB. He just didn't want to... I guess he didn't want to lose Aegis, which I think is fine. But now you have to be afraid of the smoke, right? Anytime you click your BKB like this, usually what I'd be thinking is, okay, are they going to smoke at us, right? But they see the Doom right now, so the answer is definitely not. And they're hesitant to split up, right? Because if you go and show top, the enemy can kind of get out on the map. All right, he's really close to this Abyssal. If you show top, they can get out of the map. So what they're going to do is cut the mid wave and the top wave. And we'll see if they actually leave from here. I have a feeling the answer is no. As they see the Pugna leaving the base... As Quinn is pinging this bot ward, he wants to go to this bot ward, he wants to get across. Maybe he just wants to kill the wave. I mean, when Pango shows bot here, they have to be, not afraid, but careful. But okay, what, okay, they see two heroes mid now, so they're going to feel super safe. Of course, you're going to farm up these camps. You're going to farm up these ancients. And once again, they don't want to leave the area because it wants again, if the Alquist to leave and the enemy smokes, especially when this BKB is down, they could lose the fight. So that's what they're afraid of. They don't want to split up and give them the opportunity to let that smoke play work where the Alpha BKB is down. So they're really trying to avoid that scenario. I think that's what they're they're thinking here, what they're vibing with. And he wants to finish his his uh, his Abyssal, but Quinn is saying, Garacho, I'm higher ranked than you. Just let me get the CS, please. All right, look rank, look MMR. It's my wave, it's my camp. Yeah, you have to be careful. I mean, okay, his BKB is back up. He almost has Abyssal. I'm curious to see what he'll do after that, because they already have an AC, right? So maybe just buy a Lincolns. It's a good Lincolns game. I don't know how good that is. Oh, he initiate. That's a very weird way to initiate. Oh, this is going to be a nice stun. Does Doom not a BKB? He doesn't. Dude, I hate this Doom build. I just want to say it right here now. I think this Doom build is the worst thing in Dota. I never see it win. I never see it do well. Like, he has this extremely good game, but he is completely useless. I hate this build so much. It's insane. I actually think it's just bad. Maybe I'm being a bit extreme, but I'm pretty sure... What Doom should do is if they want to be greedy, buy a minus, but leave it at that. Do not buy Arctarine Court. I feel like it's so absurdly greedy because neither of these items do anything for your fighting, right? They do nothing. And you might be like, oh, but, but, but speed, some other heroes can go builds like this. Yes, because Arctarine will lower their cooldowns. It doesn't lower your cooldowns on Doom. Like, like it's fine for Scorch Earth and team fights. It's okay. Like, it's okay. As he gets pushed away by the wave, but that's it. That's all it is. It's okay. Uh, for your Infernal Blade, it's super whatever. For Doom, you're not getting two Dooms off in a fight. Yeah, if the game is a pickoff style, sure. But you have to be afraid that the Lycan, Alk, Ench is going to take Roche and Ball up. I feel like you have to be afraid of this. As, alright, oh, they almost kill Ace. I mean, oh, they do kill Ace. Alright, so you're feeling good now. Tornstorm is going to come out. It's completely destroying the Alk. Good Ink Soul to actually get him out of that. But, oh, he's dead twice. He doesn't have BKB. So they're going to turn around. I still don't change my mind. I mean, they lost the Minorax. They obviously didn't have to die bottom here. He'll click BKB, probably try to live. I guess, right? Oh, Doom doesn't cancel that. He might die anyway. Oh, he's definitely dead, right? There's no way. He's like thinking about... There's no item to buy. There's nothing in Dota that actually stops this. Oh, is he going to live on like 100 health? Oh, wow. He actually did live. Okay. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I feel like if this guy buys Crimson, he's playing for a later timing. But as I said, I don't feel like there is, you. I don't know if you're going to have that chance against a team like Gaiman. They're going to hit their timing and go Roche and then like put pressure on you. And then it's going to be really hard to farm. And it's not like they can't high ground. They definitely can high ground. I mean, it's not, I guess it's not easy to high ground. Maybe that's his logic, right? It's hard for them to high ground. Maybe he's not thinking all these things through. I don't know. I don't know. I think I saw him cube with Mjolnir. So this is him saying like, I'm not buying AC. It's like not a good AC game. Because like you're like, it has one. And sometimes you'll buy it anyway just because you need the armor. This hero's armor is pathetic. Okay, he gets the item that helps you a bit with that. Sometimes Duraccio's crazy, man. This guy this guy can be really nuts. Like, his positioning sometimes is nuts. And it pays off in a lot of cases. I mean, the game's stalled out. And at this point, I mean, you're praying that your Doom comes online. And he's got the BKB now. Shiva's is the main timing, though. Because even with BKB, sometimes, in my opinion, you feel underwhelming. Right? On Shiva's, I think that's where you start to feel good. Because you can actually track people down and, and be tanky. And he's got the armor now. I mean, I... Maybe they'll be able to turn this game around. I think there's a real world where uh, where they win this game. Oh, and they have BKB Morta. Okay, they have BKB Morta. They have BKB Doom. This is, if yeah, if you're going to win a fight, it's now. I feel like Lycan is sort of not that good at this point in the game, but he's got an Oli. Uh, of course, you like that against Pugna. So the question is, can they keep the back line alive? I think this game is more even, actually, than I, than I thought. I mean, there are racks down, and this smoke is obscenely obvious now. I mean, they're not clearing this mid wave. I feel like maybe they had to leave someone back to like show mid or something. I don't know, but will they bump into them? No, 
I mean, they're way too afraid. They, they see that their waves are bad. So probably not a great smoke from Blacklist with the mid wave pushing in. I don't know what they were hoping for. Maybe they thought Gaben was in their triangle like they were before. I don't know. I don't know. As, ooh, that's a lot of Lotuses. That's going to instantly make a 900 Lotus. That's insane. As he's trying to pass over it. Could, yeah, I was going to say, wait, give him the Lotus. This is a 900 Lotus. What? What? What are they doing? Uh, there we go. I mean, you're not really going to push a tower. There's no way you feel safe doing that. I think at this point, honestly, if I'm Blacklist, I'm happy waiting for my Doom to get Shivas, personally. I think I'd be, th that's what I'd be thinking. As they're going to try to get out of the base, as the Doom is going to TB back. Oh, he's axed. Okay, so you know it's fake. <laughs> I love it. The Rancher just stuns him anyway. What a beast. <laughs> it's okay. He's going to farm Inchus. And His farm is really slowed down. I'm curious to see if he'll buy an axe for Lycan at some point, right? Because, like, obviously that's super powerful. The wolf bite on the on it's good on Pango, honestly, too. Right? After rolling Thunder Ends, Wolf Biting Pango lets him actually like go in and right click. It's pretty cool. As they're gonna flip the map and the game's slowing down. Of course, at this point of the game, you just expect Roche to be the objective, right? Both teams, that's what they're gonna be thinking about. And it's gonna be Ace's job to push in the bot lane. You know, Alchemist is not a hero that takes the dangerous farm, so he's definitely not gonna go show bottom here. You're gonna let the wolf scout it out, you're gonna let the entry creep check for Roche and push in the waves. And that is what you're going to do. Or you're going to let Edge do that, right? Something like that. As, okay, there's actually a ward over there. And they're not going to know the sign game. And I see it because the replay's bugged. But they're not going to know. I mean, this could be Blacklist chance. Blacklist is obviously in the area. They're not showing mid or top. And they are. They're going to think about initiating. They get scouted. That's a great flare. You have to be super afraid now. Yeah. As they want the Edge to get gone on, of course. And the Doom is going to TB back. You'd have to imagine he's X. It's just to clear the wave. As maybe they, are they still on that ward from before? Oh, they are. Wow. Blacklist not jumping. I was going to say you're on a ward. Of course, he can be, can be the Doom no, no, though nowadays. So that jump is not that impactful per se. As he's going to farm up and they use Rolling Thunder, which isn't that good, but they're going to get the Doom BKB. So it's kind of a one for one. But the, the main thing here is that the Doom is wasted, right? Which is why you don't really Doom like that as much nowadays. It's, oh, they find Ace. They don't find him. But he's super low. He's basically out of the fight. Two-man stun from Jirasho, but can he really get in? And, oh, Raven gets off his ult. Raven should be able to cook here. No, if Jirasho got off the Abyssal, he probably kills him. Jirasho keeps clicking the Watcher. Is that intentional? Yeah, it's okay. Quinn's in a bad spot, but wow, they're really not able to commit here. And he stunned himself. Oh, he probably... No, he used the Inkswell right before Alk stunned himself. But, wow, they can't get the job done. The Smarts is just not doing enough. I really thought after she got off her ult, she was going to pop the Alk, but I don't know what happened there. I mean, great four staffs to save... I don't know how the Lycan lived. I think it was a four staff from Tofu. Yeah, it was. So that, that probably helped out the fight there a lot. And I mean, I guess there was no way they could chain stun. I mean, they have chain stun. You have it's hookshot in the torrent, which is super possible, right? Or you have stun on this guy. I mean, why doesn't he have stun? I guess he feels like he needs the wave shove. I get it for the wave shove, but with no stun on Doom, I mean, because they could chain stun the Alk there, right? Like they're sitting on their ward. It, it looks like such a weird fight from Blacklist, right? Because they're sitting on their ward which is like best case scenario and you get a hook shot and you'd imagine the hook shot in the, into hook shot pushback in a centaur stomp would then lead into a torrent and i mean okay 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 there's ink swell so this is kind of fake right now that i'm thinking about it there's no case he doesn't get off bkb as i was mentioning earlier so i guess there's no world in which you can initiate like that maybe you have to just lead with like maybe you just have to lead with a different set of spells i think that's probably the logic you need to go with like lead with x right lead with x torrent Chuck out Torn Storm and, and force the BKB. I think leading with Doom is fake nowadays, especially against Grimstroke, right? I think maybe without Grimstroke, you could kind of use the logic I was using, which is chain stun him, but I don't, you can't really do that. I mean, there's th no way. And oh, he has an Ags on Grim now. That's going to be scary. If he can copy the uh, Morta, it's, it does a lot of damage. Let me tell you that. She's buying a Lincoln. So I don't know if that's for the Grim, but I can see if it would be. It's probably mostly just for like Abyssal wise. All right, they're smoked up. Waves not in a good position. The bot wave will be shoving into their base soon. They will lose a Rax if they don't hurry up. And I think this will come to nothing. And I think Gaiman being Gaiman, just beasts of the game, dodging every smoke. Just kidding. They find the edge, but this is arguably the worst target. Can they even kill her? She's going to get swelled, which is definitely going to heal her a lot. She dies. Okay, they get the Morta BKB instant buyback. This is an Aegis on Alk. I was going to say super free stun on Morta here, right? She's like giga out of position. No way she gets out of this. I mean, yeah, this is pretty desperation smoke here. I mean, you find the edge, which is easily the worst target. Obscenely tanky and had buyback and dies slow. So you have to, like, you couldn't even kill her. And then, like, usually when you do that type of play, you want to kill the support and then get out of vision. 
but it took so long that they sat in vision. <laughs> Not to blame them, they had no choice if they wanted to kill her, but I think at this point in the game, Mjolnir is better than Radiance. I don't know, Radiance gives 30% evasion. It's like insane, actually, if the person hitting you is affected by the Radiance. I mean, the, the respawn timers aren't that long, so can they get a Rax out of this? 30 seconds on Kuka, no Muerta for a bit. I mean, they have Lycan, right? So the answer is probably yes, but they have a Glyph. Okay. He's going to be hidden. They're hitting it up. He's disarmed by I don't even know what. As the Doom eats the Lycan Creep, which is impactful, but they're going to lose their Rex, that is for sure. Lycan's chopping away, and they're not going to go bar, right? Yeah, Duracho is a bit crazy for that. And he swaps out the boots, so this Alkira with no boots is really slow. As he's going to hit the Tormentor, you can't even solo this. What are you doing? Wait, what? You can! Alright, th this guy's the goat, actually. He always blows me away. He does the crazy, like in my eyes, this crazy stuff. I guess that shouldn't have been that crazy to me. You know what? To be fair, I think it got Howled and then it got AC'd and then he could kill it faster. Because Howl AC really helps you kill it, right? Because he needs the armor. All right, so Team Fight breaking out here. They're going high ground with the remainder of the Aegis. They swell up the Alk, but I don't think that's really going to turn into too much here. As they doom the Pango for a change, that will obviously make it pretty hard to kill the Alk. But oh, it looks like they're going to find the Pango. They're going to try to get him out, but he's doomed. But Muerta four staffs forward in order to finish the job, and I can't imagine you really want to be there as he dies. And yeah, it looks like the Alkira is actually just too strong here. He's chunking away. And the Minus Armor really coming to play here. You can see how fast these heroes die, right? When you're affected by AC, Howl, and Acid Spray, I mean, this Muerta hero only has 16 armor. He evaporates to physical when her ulti ends, right? Absolutely evaporates. Oh, wow, Clock Shark gets canceled by Nullifier? But okay. GG guys, hopefully you learned quite a bit, hopefully you took a, a few amount of lessons. I think these videos are extremely educational, extremely informational, but requires a bit of an attention span. So yeah, nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, I'll see you in the next one. And if you want me to do this for any other hero or player, let me know, put it down in the comment section down below. So I wanna see a live analysis of X player, or I wanna see a live analysis of X hero, and uh, I'll definitely take a peek. And I'm out, peace. And that's all, but remember, before you leave, come on, before you tune out, subscribe to the Game Leap website, where we are going to help you get to the next rank. If you're stuck, click the link down below, and I'm out. Peace.